Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're doing good with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to talk about Azure Active Directory Domain Services and some of the features which are in preview, which might be of interest. And I will also touch upon some of the changes that they have made in the pricing component. So let's start with uh, what Azure AD DS is. It's a platform as a service. So if your application requires uh, Kerberos authentication or you need to do LDAP query, then Azure AD DS is the answer for it. And because it's a platform as a service, you don't need to worry about high availability because your domain controllers will be deployed in a pair for you and uh, they'll be automatically backed up. They will take care of the replication. So all those things are taken care of in the backend by Microsoft. But the reason I wanted to make uh, this video was uh, the change that uh, Azure AD DS or the functionality that they have added in terms of trust. Uh, so let's talk about that. So when we talk about uh, on-prem AD and uh, integration with, uh, say, Azure AD DS or in general, Azure Active Directory, what we do is basically we deploy uh, AD Connect. It's a free tool that uh, you can uh, download, right? And then that will sync all the users and groups which are there in on-prem active directory into the Azure AD. And when you're spinning up your Azure AD DS instance, then you can sync uh, all those users and groups which are there in Azure Active Directory. Now, what happens in case uh, the on-prem active directory password hash cannot be synced to active directory domain services? Now, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, might be a case scenario in which this can happen, or maybe the users, uh, don't even know their password hash. They are using smart cards. So in that case, they won't be able to utilize Azure Active Directory domain services. Now, just want to divert the uh, discussion on basically the forest and the trust the way we are used to on-prem. Now, when we talk about on-prem Active Directory, we are talking about forest. Uh, in on-prem Active Directory, a forest can consist of multiple domains. If you have a very large enterprise, you can have multiple forest and they can have uh, multiple domains in that one. They might be having one-way trust, two-way trust, or even transitive trust. Now, when we talk about Azure AD DS, because it's a managed domain, and by default, it uses user forest type. Now, that is important. So when we talk about user forest type, there is no idea of trust. Uh, so the scenario that I talked about in case you cannot sync uh, password hash from on-prem Active Directory, then the Eurus Forest type might not be uh, useful. So what uh, Microsoft has done recently is uh, they have announced this feature. It's still in preview, which you can utilize and test it, which is resource forest type. Now, what this will allow you to do is you can create a one-way outbound trust with on-prem Active Directory. So as I said that in case scenario where you cannot sync the password hash and in case the users, they are using smart card. So it, it opens up those options for you to utilize Azure Active Directory domain services. That's one thing. And other thing is that uh, most of these on-prem, they have uh, environment, they have multi-tier application, they have maybe a web front, they have a backend database, and they cannot just lift and ship everything, right? They have to do it in phases. Now, with this Azure Active Directory domain services and forest type as resource, because you have a one-way trust, you can take do this migration in, in phases, and that will also let you allow you to use uh, Azure Active Directory domain services. So that is what the use case scenario, uh, which was not there before. As I said, that that will let you allow to create a one-way trust, outbound trust with your on-prem Active Directory. So you don't need to sync on-prem password hash uh, into the Azure ADDS in that case. So that is the uh, one a uh, big change that uh, Azure AD DS has uh, made. Now, other thing is that uh, from the pricing perspective, uh, they have uh, three tiers. So let me just move this. They have uh, standard, enterprise, 
and premium. And depending upon how big is your organization, as uh, for example, for standard, you can utilize if you have zero to 25,000 objects, enterprise 25 to 100,000, and premium is, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's 100,000 to 500,000. So you have these three tiers that you can utilize uh, Azure Active Directory domain services. So all these are uh, applicable as of right now. But in case you want to use uh, the forest type as a resource forest type, you need to go with enterprise and above. Standard doesn't support. It only supports the US forest type, which is the default option you want to use. But uh, if you want to use the resource forest type, you need to go with enterprise or the premium option. Now. Some of the other differences are that from the backup perspective in the premium, the backups are done daily for you. In enterprise, it is uh, every three days. And in standard, it's every five days. Because as you said that it's a platform as a service, they take care of uh, replication, uh, backing it up and all those stuff that's taken care by Microsoft in the backend. But the important thing is that to now, with the uh, Azure Active Directory domain services, you can deploy this as a forest type. It will allow you to have a one-way outbound trust. So in the scenarios where you cannot sync the password hash from on-prem, you can still use Azure Active Directory domain services. And also in scenarios where you can't just lift and shift the entire multi-tier application, you can do this in phases. So that is what uh, uh, the ADDS user and resource forest type is. So let me just quickly also show you on the Azure portal side. If I go on to the all services, ADDS is a identity service. So I will go under identity. That's where it is. I can go and click on add. Actually, I have created a detailed video. You can go and check this out. Uh, but just wanted to show you that you have three SQs, which has changed from before. You have standard, enterprise, and premium. And this is the important thing. You have the forest type as user, which is the default. The resource forest type is in preview. If you want to have an outbound one-way trust with your on-prem active directory, you need to go enterprise or above. Standard doesn't support that, right? So that's why you get this error. So these are the three options out there. And other thing is that Azure AD DS has to be it's in, in its own subnet. So that does not change because it's a managed domain. So it has to be in its own subnet. And any application or VM that you're deploying uh, needs to be in a separate subnet other than what Azure AD DS is. So this will unlock a lot of options for customers who are looking into uh, migrating those applications or for those who cannot uh, sync the password hash. So I thought uh, this video will be useful. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.